alone. And most of the time, I don't have bodyguard. I don't have anything to protect myself. I don't even have a spray or anything. Some vinegar spray. That could hurt. <laughs> it's just for washing hands and for my dogs. <laughs> and I take some a bottle of uh, half water, half vinegar with me all the time. And sometimes in the restaurant, you know, I use it to wash my hands, spray it on my hands, and then wipe it, and spray it on the utensils, public utensils, to disinfect it, you know, and wipe it off, and then it's clean. You know, like the dry clean system. <laughs> uh, it helps, yeah? So there's no chemical. Vinegar, you know, is, is harmless, isn't it? You could eat it, so it doesn't matter. I carry a little bottle all the time. You learn another trick now? <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes you spray around your window and all that also. Or there are some uh, uh, insect repellents that I have told you, the, the non-toxic ones. You spray around the window so insects don't come through. Also, even mosquitoes stay away, you know, insects, small insects stay away from your, from your net, window net. Also, sometimes if you don't have them, you spray vinegar, it also helps. Yeah, because vinegar dispels all the smell, you know. They are all only attracted to smell. So instead of perfume, maybe you spray some vinegar and then the <laughs> mosquitoes don't know if you are Lectus or, <laughs> or hard-blooded blonde, you know. <laughs> maybe they think you are cabbage, <laughs> a salad. <laughs> you still have dogs? Yeah, okay. Clean them with vinegar water, eh? Only, okay? If you have dogs or cats or pets in the house, you clean your house only with vinegar. Yeah, and now and again, if you really want it clean and you don't feel sure, then clean with whatever you have to. But afterwards, have to clean with water throughout so that no more chemical uh, things are left in the house because you could kill your dogs or cats that way. Understand me? Not kill immediately, but make them suffer for many years. You know, they cannot bear. Understand that? Yeah, if you can hear your dogs, they tell you. So, vinegar water, that's all we want. Yeah, half, half, clean it and clean with the vinegar the dog's body when you want to let them in the house, yeah? Clean the paws and everything with vinegar water, uh, vinegar wet towel, yeah? And then after that, you know, around the eyes, you have to clean quick with water so it doesn't smart their eyes, yeah? And the sensitive area, you know, with with like a, um, a revealing skin, yeah? Or a sensitive area, and then you have to clean it back with water, yeah? Afterward, immediately, so it takes away the sting, yeah? Okay? That's the best. If you really cannot have vinegar on hand, you can use baby wipes, but then wipe it water immediately after, okay? So no more residues of the chemical, whatever it is. They say baby wipes sometimes for babies, but still, it's still very strong. Yeah? And if day after day, you know, they're leaking it, I don't know if it's good. It's supposed to be for the bottom only, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so we use it everywhere. It's not very guaranteed, is it? <laughs> Okay, we talk from the ashram to the dogs. Where are we going? <laughs> yeah, I try to answer as many questions as I can in your blooming mind. <laughs> yeah, just because I love animals, it doesn't belong to a spiritual issue, but it also does in a way, you know, like helping them, eh? Yeah. Uh, sometimes the people don't treat animals right, you know, like in the cold weather, you know, minus. 20 and 10 and 30, and they just leave the animal outside chained, you know, chained to the post day and night. Sometimes we have to rescue them. At least, you know, give them to the dog center, the non kill center, and then they find them a better home. It's terrible. We saw a dog chained day and night, you know, and he had a wound in the neck. Because uh, when it was cold, he probably didn't feel the pain. So he struggled to bark or protect that house, and then it kept cutting into his neck. And it took already two weeks and still didn't heal properly. You know? They took him to the doctor and still, of course, it heals already. You know, it's getting better and better. But can you imagine it's not back to normal yet? Can you imagine some people do that? In the snow, in the icy snow, left him outside without any shelter. Oh, well, there's a little roof like this, you know, cemented. But the wind it goes through both sides, you know, and it's even worse. Probably protecting him from the rain, but not much. Yeah, and it was very cold. In some country, I know that country could be sometimes 25 minus. Of course, he won't die, but can you imagine how he feels? How would you feel if you were him? He didn't get any freedom at all. And he got sick like that, and they didn't even take care of him. They came now and again, you know, every two, three days, gave him some food. 
and then threw a loaf of bread there so that he couldn't eat. <laughs> and when he's in frozen weather, he can't even eat that. It was too cold, you know, and hard. Of course he survived. What kind of people who can do that? Understand me? So if you have animals, please do treat them like yourself, hey? Okay? You have to treat animals just the way you treat yourself, because they're like children. They depend on you, and they're loyal to you. Yeah? So loyal. And uh, they never complain. Whatever you give them, they eat. Wherever you give them, they stay. Whatever, however you treat them, they're always grateful. So we as humans, yeah, we're supposed to be superior. We have to take care of the weak and the small. Right. Okay, that's it. End of this story. <laughs> How long will you stay here? <laughs> Until I'm here. But tomorrow you go back to work, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Let's see what we can do. I'm not sure, but maybe weekend or something, you know? Because you have to work, right? Yeah, yeah it's cool. You yeah, have three days uh, rest and it's good, right? Hmm. Okay, there you are. Any more questions? I mean, good ones. Okay? Don't just try to blah, blah, and I will hate that, and then you'll be out. <laughs> well, I have to teach you, okay? I can't keep dragging myself down to your level. I have to drag you up. Understand now? Yeah. It's a golden age, no more excuse. You have to be intelligent. Uh, anybody got in the wisdom eye yet? <laughs> Wake up call. There. <laughs> oh, my head. Right? Right, yeah. Get a little snack. Little snack. Just break it. There we go. No? What? Can you get it? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mixed up. Alright. Don't eat too much, you're gonna have lunch. <laughs> if it's big, you break it and share, okay? There you are, baby. Give her one. All the, all the people don't share, you have to share, okay? We share all the time. Just this morning I shared something to somebody that I don't know. I had to send it away to some African area. Yeah, I don't even know him. We share all the time, okay? But these things are not on the newspapers. <laughs> Only when you do things, they're on the newspapers. When I do things, they're not. Otherwise, it takes the, all the newspapers in the world to print it every day. <laughs> the whole newspaper, just for me. <laughs> it would not be enough. So, we have to share all the time, okay? While we are here on the planet, yeah? We all speak to each other. <sighs> Good. Uh, what time are you supposed to go out? Or not go out? <laughs> How long since you have been here sitting? Uh, it's wow, my God! Okay, time to have a break. Yeah, have lunch and come back again. Don't worry. Come back again. No? No. Huh? Yeah. Not yet. Okay, okay, okay. Tell me, well, what else do you want? Quick. <laughs> yes. Hello, happy New Year. That's a good, good. Thank you for knowing what's in my heart and answering. I did? You always do. And I love you. I always say I love you, but I do. I know. I know. You Thank know. You. I don't have to say it, you know. Yeah, okay. Thank happy, you. Happy New Year to all of you anyway. Happy New Year to you. Master. Yes, baby. It's um, what? honour to be on this earth with you. I've chose the right time to come. I probably did, I mean, made a pact before to come down with you and it yeah. was an honour, just, it is just an honour. Yeah. Especially, not... um, yeah, coming to this centre, I've wanted it for a long time and thank you. You're welcome. 
It is just <laughs> wonderful. Thanks to the brother. Yes. Who helped you to yeah. have a place here. Brother Wu is done wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Yes. They're doing the right thing. Where's Brother Wu? Is he here? Huh? He's upstairs? Okay. Come down, Wu. <laughs> His daughters are at the front. His daughters are at the front. Daughters? These yes. two? Yes. Three? Yeah. Uh, Three. I thought he has five, no? He has five children. Hey! Ah. Where is where's uh, the other two guys? Where are uh, your other two children? Boys. Huh? In school? Take care of the house? Take care of the children. All the children in the house? They cannot come here? They can, but it's too young. I don't want Okay, okay. Can they come? Uh, too young, like how young? Uh, one of them is, is huh? 13. 13, 19 is not too young. <laughs> no. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, maybe later they can come here just to have a look and then go back. Okay. Yeah, since they're here already. Okay. Yeah. And it's New Year, I'm feeling generous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, somebody can bring them here now. Okay. Yeah, all right, good. And your two children as well? Yeah. <laughs> That's very good that they do that, yeah? Nice sacrifice. That's good. I always like that. And God always knows, hey? Eh? We know what you're doing. <laughs> okay, who else wants to say something? Something nice. It's New Year. Master, can I say something nice that happened with my dog yesterday? Yeah, tell me, tell me. Yeah, uh, I left my dog with my mother yeah. uh, for a day and a half, and uh, she spoils her very much. And when I went back, the dog uh, catch my attention and looked to my mother and lick her lips very much. Tell me, oh, she gave me really good food. <laughs> the way the dog communicates with me. Mm -hmm. She, they... They're very beautiful animals, very... She, I'm just saying that she told me, the dog told me that my mother gave her very good food. Mm -hmm. Vegan, no? Oh, yeah, of course, okay. all her life. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, that's good, yeah. Sometimes you can hear the dog talk, eh? Animals, yes. they do talk. Maybe clear or not, it depends on your reception, eh? Perception, but the dogs do talk, eh? With their eyes, my dogs, they talk with eyes. <laughs> I always know what they want. I don't even need to be telepathic. No. Dogs want a simple anyway. Okay. A lot of love, uh, good food, good water, clean water, and a clean and nice environment. Okay. Yes? Any more? Not? Yeah, share some good news for New Year. It's also about my dog. Um, she died a few years ago, but she always comes and visits me yeah. in my dreams. Mm -hmm. She's so happy. Oh, and it's good. <laughs> so be happy. <laughs> you want another dog? You can get another dog if you want, but don't don't cry for her. If you want one, eh? if you don't want, then it's fine. And by the way, if you really want a dog, there are many in the shelter. Please, to try to rescue some of them, or one of them, or two of them. Eh? Uh, yeah, all right. It's not that I, I encourage you to, to have pets or something, but if you do want, yeah, if you do want, and try to look into the shelters, all right? They'll be very grateful. Believe me, they know. The dogs know, and they'll be very grateful to you. They might not be as attached to you as the ex-owner, but they'll be very grateful. They might be even more, more loving to you, 